This is my full glam makeup look on a budget in collaboration with Guardian because they're having 50% off of all cosmetic products which is why I bought a bunch right here to create this look right here and if you like it, keep on watching. First up, we gotta prime the skin and I'm um, trying out this pore refining anti-shine base. When I go out at night especially, I like to dance with the disco ball up there. Not be the disco ball here, you know what I mean? So let's prime the face. Time to conceal. I want to do like a little triangle. And then maybe you know, eyelid as well. Alright, we're gonna dab, 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 dab. Okay, next we use foundation. We've got some foundation here. We're gonna dab it to our face. It's not enough. More! Make me pretty! <laughs> Should I have a little bit more of concealer? Why not? Just a bit more. And then you see all this area, the red red bit here, the side of your lips, you can conceal as well, okay? This is gonna make your lips really pop. I don't do this every day because it's a lot of work. I like to just put on a little bit of tinted moisturizer, do my eyebrows, put a bit of lip gloss and bam, I'm ready to go out. But on a night out, I feel like being special. I feel like dressing up for John so that he doesn't cheat on me, you know? So, <laughs> I dress up a little bit and put a bit more effort, okay? So if I can do this, you can too. You need to know that, all right? Now we gotta set this face with some powder. This is a translucent powder, so don't have to worry about it matching your skin tone or not. But what we want is a matte face that will last all night long, all right? Let's do my brows. Now I found this from Kathy Doll and I think it's really interesting. The tip looks like a comb. And I'm, I've never used this before so it might fail. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Check this out guys, we gotta clean this up. There. Like it never happened. For me, I really like this product for the front bit of my eyebrow. But uh, as it gets to the middle and to the back, I prefer to use a standard uh, eyebrow pencil. But other than that, I really like how natural it looks when I do this. You see, it looks like real hair. Pretty cool. We're done with the brows, um, but I can see there's a little bit of stain here that I couldn't remove with a cotton bud. Don't worry, we'll fix it later. But right now, we're going to move on to some contouring for the eyes. So let's start off with this one right here. Just do here. This is the crease. I've never used Kathy Doll 3D Face Forward before. So I'm really excited to put this to the test. I'm gonna use this later for the rest of my face, but right now we're just gonna focus on the eyes. Oh my god, I sound like a beauty guru. Cut! I like to give my eyes a little bit more definition because yes, my eyes are very big but sometimes I just look like a fish ball so I need to give it a bit more, you know, dimension. I sound like... I'm, I think I've definitely improved over the years, guys. If you've seen my older YouTube video about my makeup, I don't know what I'm talking about. Right now, although I don't know what I'm talking about, I know certain, certain words that, that make sense, you know? And I always say this, if I can do it, you can do it too, okay? Next up, we got this color, Mademoiselle Chic from Catrice. <laughs> I like to say Catrice to annoy you. It's Catrice. Catrice, sorry. Okay, so we're gonna put this all over the lid right now. Just pat it in. It's a really beautiful, almost champagne like color. So from Mademoiselle Chic, we go to Life on High Heels. I like this color, it's almost like this. It, it brings in a tinge of purple. I really like it. Now we're going to go back to this palette to get our transition color, which is this one, and just to blend all the colors in. Just like that.
Next, I'm really excited to try this. It's the highlighter pen, and I'm gonna use it for the inner corners of my eyes to give it that ooh. Look at that. I'm gonna show you a little bit of how it looks like, okay? Look at that! <laughs> I'm gonna put it right here and in a corner. Now we're gonna blend out with a Q-tip. Actually, I could do this. Color right up. And dab it right in the middle. I'm gonna be skipping the mascara a bit because I already have eyelash extensions, but eyeliner is a must. I like to start from the corner and then I draw one line inside just like this. And I create a little wing to kind of guide me to how my, the rest of my eyeliner is gonna be like. I actually really like this shape. Surprisingly, I thought it's gonna be weird, this angled uh, eyeliner tip, but then I actually really like it. It's, it's made it very easy. I'm happy with the eyes. Are you happy with the eyes? I'm happy with the eyes. For this look, I'm not gonna put any blusher. I just want to have very, very defined cheekbones as well as then highlighter. So back to this 3D face forward from Kathy Doll. We got our brush right here. Oh wow, that is super pigmented. While it's good that it's pigmented, you need to remember to blend, okay? If not, you just look like you got dirt on your face. Okay, and then bring it down. We like to do a number three like this. So now let's go to this area. On this side. Ooh, look at that pigment. Blendy, blendy, blend. So we contour it with this color. We're gonna use this shade right here to give it a little bit of warmth. So let's use one of these brushes to get it on the cheeks. And we just warm it right up, balance everything up. Now a touch of this fan brush right here, we're going to highlight. The more highlight you use, the more you will blind your haters. Let's highlight some on the chin. Highlight the forehead, this area. Next, we're gonna check the face and see the imperfections. For me, as I mentioned over here, I wanna make sure this area is highlighted and the darkness of it will be concealed. So I'm gonna put some concealer here, some concealer here, and uh, that should be it. So what I do is, just take some right here like that. Grab your concealer brush. Just go over it. You can see a difference, right? This and this. So all you need sometimes is just to put a little bit of concealer and perfect the edges. And it just looks a little bit more popped, a little bit more pronounced. It really makes a difference. Don't forget to take the brush with the transition color and just go over it to blend out any harsh lines. Now for the fun bit, I'm not sure if you watched my lip swatch video, but this was one of my favorites and one of your favorites as well. So this is the Sugar Bell Lust. Mmm. <sighs> oh, look at that color. So this is the final look. What do you think? Do you like it? I personally love it. It's been a while since I put on a full glam makeup look. And if you're interested, go ahead to Guardian right now because they're having 50% off of all cosmetic products. All right? But then again, as usual, I am not telling you what to do. You be you. Have an amazing day ahead. Mwah.